How crazy is that, guys? We actually just made it to the secluded shelf. Hello, everybody. Gray still plays, and we're back with more of the long dark. I've got an idea. I think that this cave possibly goes through a valley and will lead us out of here. At least that's what I'm hoping. Let's go ahead and eat a little bit of the food that we have here. Our weight is way down, which is good, so if we come across anything, we can pretty much grab it. We've got a little bit of water left, but it's not looking great. Let's kind of head through here. Now, if I remember correctly, there's a ledge right up here. We should be pretty good on all fronts. Eh, we're a little winded. That's fine, though. Holy crap, this is a really, really narrow ledge. And that is a really, really long fall. <laughs> okay. Let's kind of keep going here. I'm hoping that this will bring us to the other side of the ravine and allow us to progress down the mountain, or I guess up the mountain, I should say. Let's see. Now, there's no daylight right now. What is this? Oh, it's a piece of coal. Now, there's no daylight right now. Some firewood, too. That's interesting. Not exactly sure where I'm supposed to be going, though. That's the only issue. I know if we come back to that little ledge, we've gone to, we, you know, we've gone in a big circle. Let's go this way. As long as we keep kind of going in a downward direction, I imagine we'll be heading the right way. Man, this thing goes way down, doesn't it? This is a deep, deep hole. Holy crap. All right, let's keep going. You never know. You never know what could be down inside these mines. Ah, now we're starting to head upward. Oh, look at this. Frozen corpse. He's got a torch, a backpack. Oh, yeah, a little bit of food, too. Man, have a have a thing of water inside your backpack. A whole bunch of candy bars. Um, yeah, we'll take these gloves. I can see he's got a torch as well. We really don't need that. Now, he's... He was kind of facing this direction, so let's kind of head this way. Maybe this is the upward direction that takes us out the other side of the cave. That would be great. Not much noise in this cave compared to uh, the one right by the hydro dam. Hmm. A fork in the road. We'll head this way. Ah. Leave cave. Okay, this looks good. This looks very good. We've got two hours of darkness left. Let's go ahead and sleep for, well, about three hours, I guess. And then we'll get going. Put this down. Get a little shut-eye. Hopefully three hours will be perfect. I forgot to turn off my lantern, which uh, <laughs> I always tell you guys, turn off your lantern because if you don't, it'll run all through the night and that's exactly what happened. Let's get rid of this crap because we don't need it. Where's our lantern at? Snow if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. Refuel this. We've got a little bit of fuel left, not a ton. And don't worry, partner. We'll get you something to eat. You can have some crackers. Now, crackers make you thirsty, by the way. So, when you eat them, always have a way to follow it up with something to drink. Okay. Um, actually, you know what? Let's not use that. Let's just use our matches. Grab our bedroll. Get out of here. We're going to need as much daylight as humanly possible. It's going to be... Really cold outside, I imagine. Negative seven degrees. That's actually not terrible. Now, I think... I think if we head one of these directions... I think if we head one of these directions, there's a rope. Let me see. Yeah, I think we should... I think if we head around this way. Yeah, let's keep going. Kind of goes into a little valley here. Nope, that's the engine. 
I'm pretty sure we've had to deal with that multiple times. Alright. Well, I thought that was the way out. Apparently not. Unless... Could that be a different engine? Let me take a look at the map real quick here. I don't know, guys. I'm only seeing one engine that I can tell of. All right, let's head this way. That is the cave. So how about if we take this path? That cave entrance is definitely different than the cave entrance that we came in on. Because I remember the one that we came in on had like this really steep outcropping that you kind of had to like climb up to get to. Timberwolf Mountain is actually a lot more annoying than I had previously anticipated. And holy crap, this is a this is a hell of a ravine here. Guess I'll keep my eye open. Man, I would love to see a piece of climbing rope right about now. Daylight's going to start coming upon us, so we'll be able to see a little bit easier. Is that a hole in the wall? Look at this. All right, well, I haven't seen this yet, so I guess any news is good news. Oh, this is just a cave. How far back does this cave go? Wow, this cave goes, like, back. Like, way back. This cave's actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be. All right, what do we have over here? Anything to eat? It's inside of your plastic containers. Soda, crackers, excellent. Let me see if I can find this place on a map. I don't really see it. Great. All right, well, let's keep moving. We'll head this way first. If this way doesn't get us anywhere, then we just have to remember to come out and make a left. All right. Come on now. Lady luck. Luck be a lady. Tonight. What is this? Is this a dead end? This looks like a dead end. That is absolutely, and without a doubt, a dead end. Okay. So you can't go that way. Back into the cave, we'll head to the left, and hopefully, man, I hope that this brings us someplace we need to go. I never felt so lost in a game. And that's why I love you, Long Dark. You make me feel like no other game can. I might want to use this campfire, actually. Because, let me see here, all this wood, actually, yeah, let's go ahead and use this. We need to make some, uh, we need to make some water. 68% chance, that's all 68%. How about if we use wood matches instead? That's a little bit better. Yeah, we'll use this. I may even have some accelerant laying on me. Probably want to melt down another kilogram of water. And, work? Okay, well that didn't work at all. Here, use the accelerant. There, I don't have time for BS. Throw down some of this firewood too. All right, excellent. Melt a liter, uh, melt down a liter and a half. Then we'll boil it and get out of here. That's going to end up burning some of our time, too. We only have a day and six hours. Not much time at all. Boil that water, boys. I think I'll grab a brand while I'm here. Might as well, just in case we come across any wolves or something. I could probably boil up a little bit of food, but like I said, the faster the better. Only zero degrees outside Celsius, not too bad. All right, 
Where did this cave opening bring us? More of the same. It all looks like more of the same. Oh boy. I just don't want to see that damn river again. If I see the river again, I'll know I went in a big circle. All right. This looks different. Just got to see if there's a way up this kind of sheer cliffside. Haven't seen any ropes that'll help us. I saw a rope, but we walked up the the pathway instead of using the rope, so I didn't even get to <laughs> I didn't even get to utilize its benefit. One degree outside. Getting warmer. A little hungry, but we do have some water and crackers. The crackers will tide us over quite a bit. 600 calories for those. Alright. Got, got the sad weather going. How about if we head back this way? Doesn't feel like I just went in a giant circle. It feels like we're getting somewhere. Hard to be certain though. The way everything looks. Is that a rope? I think that's a rope, guys. Hold on, this might be good. This might be a sign. Yeah, I think that this is a rope. I think we might actually be on the right path this time. Oh, this could be good. All right, let's get there. Our weight, our weight should be good. Let me check our weight real quick. Ah, eh, we're a little heavy. Drink this soda. Drink this soda. Drink this. There we go. Now we're set. Okay. Get up this rope here. Come on, baby. Get us to the top of the summit. I need that damn flare gun, and then it's a race. A race back. There's the crows circling. Man, I hope getting down this place is going to be easier than getting up it. That's for damn sure. Ugh, plenty of energy. Good job, Will. You did it. Now, did that do anything for us? I really don't know. Where is that fuselage? Let's keep walking down this way. Maybe we'll find something. Oh, two stags. That's interesting. Three stags, four stags. Holy crap, what is all this? This is actually really cool. Look at all these, look at all these deer everywhere. Bye, deer. Ugh. Deer clearing. All right, let's look this up on the map. Where the hell is deer clearing? Get around this chunk of rock and there should be another wall on the other side of this. And then if we follow that, that should bring us to the secluded shelf which brings us to a cave, which may bring us to the summit? I'm not sure. Never, never thought I'd get this lost in the game. I probably should have played this map before just rushing into it. How much time do we have left? One day, four hours. All right. So that's, what do we have here? Oh wow, there's wolves everywhere by this clearing. Now I do believe that we need to go around this way. Ooh, how high can I get up this hill? 
Pretty darn high, actually, it looks like. I'll keep following this, keep following this deer, I guess. How's it going, stag? See you later. Man, you can, you can really kind of climb your way up this. Holy crap. Visibility is terrible. Um, did that actually get us anywhere of note? Not really. Can I get down this? Uh, that is way too steep. How crazy is that, guys? We actually just made it to the secluded shelf by just wandering around. I found a mountaineering rope. So this... Oh, man. This cave ahead of us is going to lead us to the cave that leads us to the summit. But thus, I am faced with a very, very problematic quandary. And that is whether or not I'm going to have enough time to get from point A to point B anymore. I don't know. I mean, I guess we can press on as far as we can. But, uh... I don't think we're going to make it back in time, guys. We have 23 hours left, which means I basically get one day's worth of rest to try and travel through three different zones. I just don't think it's going to be enough. Let's see if we can find our way out of this. Don't have a lot of lantern fuel either. We went ahead and ditched most of it. Looks like we've got, oh, a dead man. That's about how I'm feeling right now. Well, I shouldn't say that. I don't, I'm not going to die. I'm going to run out of time. Let's keep moving. Remember, uh, oh, crap. It's a dead end. Now I have to remember which way I came, and I don't remember which way I came. Remember how we left all that lantern fuel behind back uh, in the beginning of our journey? Yeah, I'm not feeling so good about that now. I think that if we make the rightmost turn, this one here I think will be good. Yeah, we haven't done this yet. We haven't crawled through anything. I would have remembered that. Ugh. There we go. Looks like we're heading upward too. Alright, this lantern's going down. We've got a few flares. So, I don't feel too bad about expending one so we can at least see where the hell we're going. We are definitely going uphill, though. I like that. Up the mountain. 22 hours. We are exhausted, so we're going to have to sleep no matter what. Where am I going? Ah! There's a shelf. That brings you upward. Holy cow, this is really, really windy. Wouldn't want to fall down this, I'll tell you that. I have four hours of daylight left. Now the problem is, is that I believe there's another mountaineering... Another mountaineering rope that we're going to have to deal with. Uh, what is there, two different ways to go here? We're going to go left. Don't ask me why. Alright, left didn't do jack crap for us. We're going to go right. <laughs> I guess the right way is the way. As long as the slope keeps going up. I know we're heading in the right direction. Here we go. We found the exit. Okay, so here's the issue. Oh, that's not an exit. That's just, oh, it is an exit. Just a little opening on top of an exit. Cool. Plenty of sights to see, I'll tell you that. All right, this is where we're going to cut it off for right now. We're going to need to sleep a little bit. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to get across that rope. Guys, I hope you join me for the next episode of The Long Dark Hopeless Rescue. The rescue is looking grim, but we're going to press on. Until then, stay foxy and much love.